overwhelming amount of paperwork. Yeah. WCBI's Quentin Smith talks with the superintendent about the steps in registering for school. The two Registering kids for school in Choctaw County is something Glenn Beard is all too familiar with, both as a parent and as a superintendent. The parents, uh, you know, they've got their education, and uh, but every year after the first day of school, uh, all the forms come home, the emergency contacts and stuff like that. So they they feel like they're going back to school, having to fill out all that paperwork. To help parents, the Choctaw County School District offers online registration. You can print your forms out online uh, and type them in there online. At those that have uh, multiple kids like I do, you know, I have four kids, so you still have to fill out the forms for every student, but when you uh, do it online, it's, it's, you can print four at one time. The district has also cut down on the number of forms parents have to complete. A lot of those forms were making uh, asking for the same thing. Uh, so we just kind of made it to where it, it can can be simplified. Parents also have to plan out what their kids will take to school. Kim Tullis recently registered her son for kindergarten. The supply list sometimes is normally long, like last year it was long, but this year they don't have a long list. There's only four things on the kindergarten list. Beard says educators cut down on the school supply list so parents wouldn't have to drain their pocketbooks. We asked the parents to, to still buy backpacks, the, the non-rolling kind, uh, and nap mats for your kindergartners or pre-K kindergartners, the blue and red nap mats, you know, and uh, we've got the supply list down to where they're just buy a pack of pencils and a pack of loose leaf paper. Beard says schools still require certain fees to be paid, but those prices have also been reduced. I think we have choir fee, maybe a science lab fee. Um, uh, it's, it's very few. Most of those are uh, part of extracurriculars, uh, like the choir. Uh, I think that, that fee is around $20. Uh, I think that's the highest fee we have. The rest of them are, are relatively small. Beard says there is not a set registration date for students, but he prefers parents register their kids before the beginning of the school year.